What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition bringing you another day in the life. Come along, you don't have to do the work, we're gonna do all the lifting. So today we're doing a full truck back in Holliston. We're gonna fill that up, hit the dump, go to Needham, pull a full truck, hit the dump, go to Brookline, pull a full truck, hit the dump, and then finish up the day with a love seat removal. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive in. How many times do you think we're gonna have to move? So this is what happens when your customer isn't prepared. Car in the driveway, she says she's gonna move it, then her son comes out, says he wants to move it. They were gonna move it to the back of the driveway, now he's moving it. All right, he's gone. All right, round three. All right, guys, back at it in Holliston. So she said she wants all the white furniture gone first, but it's kind of hard to access that furniture. So we're just gonna take everything out of here, minus the paint. That is the goal today. So we're gonna start with this small pile, get that out of the way, and we'll take it from there. Guys, we are now embarking on the journey of taking out the cabinets. But what we're finding is all this gardening stuff, all this stuff. This thing's like 150 pounds. It's all gardening stuff. So to make it a little more organized and easier for us, we have to separate metal, all that crap anyway. So we're gonna separate metal over here start junk and trash over there. Uh, gotta clean out all of those cabinets before we can remove them. Uh, but we wanna get the cabinets in first uh, in order to maximize space. So watch how we do it. All right, guys, we are crushing it today. So, of course, maybe you're doing something like this. You know, find all types of paint, paint thinners, everything. Um, so you wanna separate that before you throw like a cabinet into the truck uh, because you fire it in, that shit goes everywhere. You get a big problem on your hands. So we're going through all this little crap. Trying to get as much junk in as we can. We're not going to sweep today. Because um, we're coming back to get more metal. So she just keeps adding and adding and adding and adding. Uh, it's typically what happens uh, when you're doing stuff like this. You leave it one way. You show up the next week. Um, and there's more stuff that was, you know, there. Which is fine. They need to get stuff out of their house. So it's understandable. Um, we're very good to go. This is what we like to call packed in full. Packed neatly. There's a full truck if I've ever seen one. We're gonna close up these doors, slap the tarp on her, and we will hit the dump. We'll figure out how much this bad boy weighs. All right, 
away. Bombs away, my friend. You can get it. It's a nice dismount if I've ever seen one. We are on the scale, weighing in at 11,950. Heavy. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. What's yeah, happening? Just yeah, reboot it in the middle of your transaction oh, for whatever right. reason. Cool. Thanks, buddy. We'll see yeah, you soon. Yeah, All right, guys. So that weighed in at... Put the slip away already. That weighed in at... 140 uh sorry cost 147 weighed in at 2100 pounds a little over a little over a ton 100 pounds over i thought that was going to be a lot heavier um but that's good so the customer doesn't get hit uh too too hard um so we are on our way to needham we're in needham so we're not on our way to needham we are traveling through needham traversing through needham um, going to do another clean out. We'll hit the dump, figure out what that thing weighed. Um, Brookline, full truck, and then a love seat. So follow us along. All right, guys. Everything in here is coming with us. Clothes. A couple pretty real looking dogs. guys so that area is cleaned out these kitchens I mean everything you open is just is just stuff everywhere fridge oh thank god it's cleaned out the joint is clear we gotta come back for this let's go into someone's house all the metals here um, our dumps like five minutes away so we're gonna hit the dump uh, come back All right, boys, weighing in at, ooh, 12, 12,300, 0, 12,300 pounds. This bad boy usually weighs 9,8, so we'll see what this costs us. All right, guys, that weighed 2,520. Uh, cost us 176 to dump. Waiting for this guy to pull in. We'll be back on the road. Okay. All right, guys, we are out of here. It's about a third of a truck in there. Some stuff. We're gonna donate. I got this for my wife. Good old Saint Nick. She's probably gonna hate it. 
Uh, you can throw it in the back. Off to the dump again. All right, gentlemen, back at the dump again. Got the green light, weighed in at like nine, I think nine, nine. Um, we got a mattress in here, box spring. All right, guys, on our way to Brookline, that dump we got hit with the minimum charge 25 and then 25 for the mattress as well for a grand total of 50 smackaroos let's see what this brookline job has in store boom just like that here in brookline mass don't know the area code don't care they just shoveled off the bulkhead for us which is nice looks like it's a sheet of ice out there so let's figure this out how are we looking on like ice factor not too bad. Oh, that's heavy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh. All right, so we are looking at fifteen file cabinets, and they're pretty heavy. Alright guys, she is done, cleared out. We just gotta grab these. This is all the dividers that were in there. Oh, damn, these are heavy. Here's the final product. Full, 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 full. Everything's standing up. We're gonna hit the scrap yard. See how much we make for this. All right, guys, before we hit the scrap yard, we are going up into this building here to grab a love seat. And we're off. Love seat acquired. About a thousand steps up, a thousand steps down. What are your thoughts on that guy? Uh, good guy. <laughs> I don't know about his choices though, because he just left LA to come to New England in the winter. So, who knows? This is why Framingham Salvage is awesome. Because there's a friggin' line to get in every friggin' time. And you gotta dump, go out the back, and come back in. And there's three people behind me. And I wonder who's gonna start beeping first. That's why I hate, hate, hate coming to this place. Get something in your tire every single time. 
All right, guys, the day is done. 3.45, eight hours and 45 minute day. Um, not bad, typical day. Usually finish up between three and four. Um, we did like 20 bucks shy of 3,000 in sales today. Our dump fees were right around 400. So let's do some numbers here. Say we did 29.50 in sales minus 400 is 2550 minus the 600 we're going to use for expenses 1950 not a bad day and where else is here we got some quiche from the scrap so 120 40 65 165 um so it's pocket change covering dump fees um all that good stuff um, I gotta run. I gotta go do three or four quotes. I gotta bring my wife's car to CarMax. It's, uh, you know, whole thing. Life, man, life. Uh, new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, check out some other videos. Um, anyone who's engaging with me um, in the comments section, talking about whatever it may be, questions or just commenting on stuff, um, I appreciate it. It helps get this content out there. We're getting more views, more subscribers every day. Um, it's just going to help push this content further out there. So I appreciate all of you, and until next time.